Hello, welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman, and tonight I am watching Hinomaru Sumo episode 24. So this is the season finale, uh, maybe series finale. I don't know if they're going to do a second season. I know there's plenty of material left for them to do. Uh, from what I saw, the manga is still ongoing. Up to 200 and something chapters, I think. Uh, I looked it up. <laughs> I figured since I was watching this today, I should check to see if the manga is still going. So maybe they'll do a second season. Or if not, then I can read the manga. Um, anyway. Last episode, we got the match with um, Ozeki and his opponent. What was his name? Daniel? Something like that? Um can't remember I think he was European British or something I don't know he was not from Japan obviously um, but he came to Japan in order to uh, get into sumo um, I don't know if it was actually true but Ozeki was kind of going in his mind about how he got into it watching um, I guess... Oh god, what is this guy's name? Um, the guy Hinomaru was gonna fight. Uh, his, watching his dad in sumo. Uh, speculating that maybe this guy got into the same th got into it the same way. Uh, however, when he first came to Japan and started in the sumo club, he was losing. He didn't understand why. He figured he was bigger, uh that he'd probably he should be winning easily but that wasn't the case because he well he didn't have the skill like he was probably not as determined uh he seemed kind of cocky a, a little bit seemed kind of cocky uh and probably just figured that he'd go in there and just beat anybody that he won up against but again he was losing all of his matches um and then he talked with, uh... I gotta look up this guy's name. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, no. There we go. Can't remember his name. Uh, where are you? Kuze. Ugh, okay. And then he met him. Uh, I think they said he was still in middle school when he came by to check out the club. Um, and then when he joined, they pretty much hung out all the time. Um, and he was... He pretty much asked him one day because he was telling him that he wasn't... wasn't really having a lot of fun in sumo. Because, mainly because he was losing all his matches um, and asked Kuze if he enjoyed sumo and he didn't exactly say yes it was more like he just kind of dedicated his life to it because his father was you know uh, Yokozuna so it's basically in his blood it's his life pretty much um and then from then on he would only fight with him like he was fighting with him all the time uh losing <laughs> but he was getting better um Ozeki was pretty much going in his mind about how similar they are he and his opponent but while he probably He's just imitating Kuze. Uh, Ozeki and Hinamaru are rivals. He's not trying to imitate him. He's trying to be better. Um, and he brought up how he actually beat him in a match. <laughs> and how happy he was and how he treated himself to... I forget. I forget what he, he went to go get. Uh... 
I don't think it was a cake. It was some something else that he went to eat. And how happy how he felt when he saw that Hinamaru was still kind of sulking over it. Um, he wasn't like upset or anything. He was still pretty happy that he was sulking over the loss. Um, and that was the difference between the two of them. Um, which gave Ozeki that little extra push he needed in order to win his match. Um, then we started the match with uh, Hinamaru and Kuze. It was going pretty good for Hinamaru at first. Like, as soon as they started, he went on the attack. Um, and was pushing him towards the edge. But this guy's really strong. He threw one hand out and hit Hinamaru in the face and knocked him back. Did not, not, not knocked him down, obviously. The match would have been over right then. And now... He, uh, with Kuze is on the, uh, the attack now and Hinomaru is just trying to defend. But... He does eventually get back into the fight. Getting closer. Um, basically forcing himself to get in. Because he knows that if he doesn't take risks and be kind of aggressive, he's going to lose against this guy. Um, he's too good. And right now, Hinamaru's got his belt. And uh, Kuze has his arms around the belt too, but going you know, like from uh, over like that. So we got to see who's going to be able to pull off their finisher first um because that's where it ended <laughs> so let's get into this episode because I want to see if they actually have Hinomaru win I'm pretty sure they will but you never know or if Kuze is going to win okay so the video is going to be located over here and the link to the reaction is going to be in the description down below And we're going to start this episode in three, two, one. <laughs> 